is Eric Goins. Um, I'm an actor, and I came to see Sean um, because I've been uh, I've been performing on a stage for about 14 years, and about five years ago, I decided to make a full push towards film and television. And what I was finding is I was finding that I was starting to have some anxiety in a closed quarter room with a casting director um, that I'd never experienced on stage in front of up to 12,000 people. And um, I think the intimacy of the room that w I was in was just intimidating, having a, a, a casting director there and feeling the judgment um, of a single person watching you as opposed to numerous people. So I was feeling anxiety about that. And I went to Sean to help me um, to help me kind of create um, a better experience in the audition room that was more akin to what I was experiencing on stage. My auditions, there was a lot of anxiety associated with them. It would get increasingly worse the shorter it got to actually walking in the room um, to the point where I, when I walked in the room, the anxiety was was almost debilitating. My pulse would get elevated, I'd start to sweat, um, I'd get extremely nervous and anxious. The results were, were dramatic and, and immediate. Um, there were a couple of individuals that I had particularly um, stressful um, responses to because of the um, because of the position that they hold within the industry. Um, they have a lot of clout and they could, they could really affect my career in a very positive way. And um, the anxiety I was feeling with those people re was reduced immediately. In those moments of anxiety, um, I started immediately to have just recall of the things that um, Sean had introduced to me. I started having a manifestation of the things that Sean um, suggested to me, um, real visual imagination of uh, the word play uh, on the door when I walk in, um, a visualization of who I hope to be, who I have confidence that I can be, and going ahead and slipping into that role early. Right. Um, and going ahead and accepting the, the fact that I am that person now, which gave me a lot of confidence going in. And the most dramatic thing was I remember one thing specifically I was asking Sean to help me with. He asked me how I would judge um, success. And I remember specifically saying, I'll judge success when I'm saying no to projects, when I get to a point where I don't have enough time to do the projects on my plate. And um, I saw Sean about uh, three weeks after we, uh, we finished up. And he, he said, well, how are, how are things going? You know, how's, how's work in a very casual way? And I was like, oh, it's going great. Um, I was like, the craziest thing. Like, I, I've got people asking me to do these projects. And I had to tell them no. And I feel awful about it. And I went, ding. <laughs> it was so strange. And I, I, I looked at him and I was like, did you hear what I just said? Like, I just said. I had to say no to a project, and it was a couple projects, and that's when it really hit me that progress had been made because literally, the the one little tidbit of 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 a barometer for judgment that I put on myself for success or barometer for success, um, I had achieved without realizing it, and uh, that was a really cool moment. I'm still listening to um, the. Uh, the sessions that we had together um, because it only continues to reinforce the things that I've been trying to grow on. When people are expressing their creativity, they're expressing something that's very vulnerable and it's very personal to them. And generally, if you don't have confidence in yourself, it's hard to express your creativity because it's the most it's the most personal manifestation of what you have to offer the world is your creativity. And I think what the hypnosis has helped me do is it's helped me have confidence in myself and what I have to offer. I think most of all what it's helped me to do is it's helped me to understand that being me and just me is enough in any type of creative situation. Hypnosis has helped me see who I want to be earlier than when I get there. And when you can see who you want to be and you can make a visual manifestation in your head of the success that you hope to have one day, there's really very little difference between seeing it in my head and seeing it in front of me. 
There's the old saying, uh, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. Well, this is literally that. It's an actual manifestation of that, of that saying. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. Right. This is it. When uh, Sean helps you in one area of your life, it's not, it's not compartmentalized to just that, that part. And so whether you know it or not, or whether you, um, whether you realize it or not, it is helping you in all areas of your life. Having more patience with people, um, having more confidence in myself, um, uh, being more caring about other people is only a manifestation of the things that we worked on. I mean, as soon as you stop worrying about perfectionism, you start being a little less stressed out, a little bit anxious, a little bit less anxious, um, and a little bit more open to other people. One of the things about Sean is he generally cares. And I think that's incredibly important for anyone that you allow into your circle of influence, particularly in something like um, self-empowerment and self-growth and things like that. If you're trying to grow as an individual, it's really important um, you have someone who um, is reliable, who's caring, and, um, and who is really serious about their expertise. And I think you do get all those things in Sean. He's very professional, incredibly caring, and, and insightful. I think he's um, insightful in a way that um, he listens and helps you find the answers for yourself, as opposed to telling you what the answers are. He helps guide you to find them yourselves.